and hungry. I spend every Sunday just living good. Morning guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. What I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you a very inexpensive product that I found sheerly by accident doing research on the internet. And I spend a great majority of my time um, when I'm not in the woods on the internet, doing research, pouring over historical documents, things of that nature, and looking at different products that will improve, you know, both my comfort and survivability, and also products that emulate things that were used in the past as well. But I ran across this product, and it's called a MagSpark. And what it does, and I'm going to walk you through the whole thing, but it really opens up black powder to more versatility and also more to the common man. You know, we talked about this smoothbore shotgun double barrel on a video a few videos ago, and it's a very expensive firearm. Um, they're over $1,000. But you can buy a CVA cap lock 50 caliber muzzle loader at just about any pawn shop for less than 100 bucks or right at 100 bucks, about the price of a 12 gauge or less, to tell you the truth. And the only problem with the cap lock is, as we've discussed before, it's a closed ignition system, but it's not completely waterproof. And you've got to have the number 11 priming caps, which you talked about. Still available today, no problem. The big advantage to this is that it will shoot a lot of powders that flint locks will not shoot. A lot of your pyrodexes and things like that that are black powder simulations or black powder equivalents, I should say, like the 777, like the Pyrodex, uh, American Frontier, Jim Shockey Gold, all of those things that are not true black powders can be shot from these guns. Very reliable through the cap lock or percussion cap system without a doubt. But you can make that even more foolproof. Okay guys, so this product is called the MagSpark. And it, what it does is it converts your muzzle loader or your number 11 priming cap nipple to a 209 shotgun primer. Now, there's no artificial powder. You're not gonna be able to shoot out of this gun very reliably because you're gonna make it a completely closed ignition system, just like an inline muzzle loader, like a Thompson Encore, or like an Encore or something like that. So let me show you how this thing works. You have a nipple on your gun to begin with, and you're gonna take that nipple off of there. Almost got it loose. So you're going to screw that nipple completely out and set this thing in your tin or whatever so you don't lose it because that just gives you that much more versatility, obviously. And this comes with a wrench for the tool and basically what it is, is it is a well, per se, that a 209 shotgun primer fits in that replaces your nipple. So instead of having the nipple you have a well and you put that well in the exact same spot and this comes with an allen wrench to screw it in because the channel inside there is an allen wrench opening so once you get that in position you screw this upper portion over the top of your 209 shotgun primer once it's seated and that will push that firing pin up because it just slides in there, but it's sealed. And then when you pull the trigger, it falls on that firing pin instead of falling on a cap. Now you have a completely enclosed waterproof system that works exactly the same, except now you can shoot 209 shotgun primers. So now you've got the ability with this gun to shoot 209 shotgun primers or number 11 capping primers. You can shoot any black powder out of this thing or black powder substitute and if you've got a smooth bore you can shoot any type of shot you'd like to shoot so that makes this gun almost as versatile in the long run as a single shot 12 gauge other than the fact that I can't shoot modern powder out of it I wanted to give you guys a real up close view of this real quick before we load it and you can see that now we have just a well there that our 209 shotgun primer would sit into so if we take one of our 209 primers. These happen to be triple sevens for black powder, but you could use any any 209 shotgun primer in this. And you just drop that down in the well, just like that. And then you'll take this and screw it completely over the top, 
which encloses your system and at the same time pushes that firing pin into the upward position so that when your hammer falls on it it shoots that 209 shot or fires that 209 shotgun primer with the 209 shotgun primer there is absolutely no question that you're going to ignite powder whether it be some type of equivalent or black powder Hey guys, I thought I'd just kind of give you a little over the shoulder here of this. And you can see that I've got my 209 primer seated in there on half cock. And the firing pin is up on that device. Full cock, ready to go. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Fully enclosed system. If I leave that hammer down, it's no big deal. Not going to hurt anything. To get that out of there, all I need to do is unscrew it just like this. You can see it just falls right out of there. Toss that aside. Put the cap back on. My system's closed up again. I can drop the hammer back down on top of it. And I'm good to go until the next shot. Okay guys, well I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Again, this product is called MagSpark and I will put a link to their website at the bottom of this video for you. But it will definitely add to the versatility and reliability of your current percussion cap gun beyond the shadow of a doubt, enabling it to shoot two and nine shotgun primers for easy ignition with all equivalent powders and black powder as well. You saw how fast that thing went off. I thank you guys for joining me for this video. I appreciate everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, all my sponsors, friends, and affiliates. And I'll be back in another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.